In the world of investing, it is really important for you to know how much are you really paying for a particular stock. And one of the metrics to be able to measure that effectively is the PE ratio. This metric is quite effective because it tells you how much are you paying relative to the amount of profit that a company is earning. Now think about this situation. Let's say that you're looking to buy an iPhone and that iPhone regularly sells for $1,000. Now out of nowhere, somebody makes an offer to you they're willing to sell a new iphone to you the same iphone that you saw before for a thousand dollars for two thousand dollars the question that you need to ask yourself is would you buy the iphone of course if you think about it for some time and you think about it rationally the answer is no because as you saw before you already knew what the price of the iphone was which was a thousand dollars before so you don't want to pay a higher price than what it's really worth now when it comes to buying and investing in stocks it is really important to know what kind of price are you paying for that particular stock and one of the best ways to know that is of course the PE ratio but looking at the PE ratio on a historical basis so in this video I want to share with you how it is that you can get the historical PE ratio of pretty much any public company automatically on your Excel or Google Sheet spreadsheet so that way you can know how much are you really paying for a particular stock relative to the historical PE ratio. Okay, so as you can see, I have set up this spreadsheet right here and I'm quickly going to show you how this is gonna work, how you're gonna be able to get the historical PE ratios for any companies that you want. So first, I'm gonna show you straight away how this works. So you see right here how I'm selecting the tickers that I want to get data for. And then right here, I'm going to be selecting the PE ratio that I want to get and I'll explain how everything works in a second. Click on get data data and as you can see automatically everything updates really fast you can have a longer stock list right here and you will be able to get all of the historical PE ratios so that you can assess you know get a better idea of like what's the price that you're paying for a particular stock relative to the historical PE ratio now you can of course apply you know any kind of averages or operations and calculations to this data as you wish but now let me go ahead and explain how how this works so first things first you can get data for pretty much any company that is public worldwide the only thing that you need to know is that you need to use the yahoo finance sticker system so for example if i change this company so right now we have apple microsoft and salesforce we're gonna add an international stock and that's gonna be talus this is a Canadian company listed in the Toronto Stock Exchange. So as you can see, I'm using the Yahoo Finance ticker system. And then after that, I can go ahead and click on get data again or press on the refresh live data and as you can see now the data updated everything is the same for this companies but because this one changed now all of a sudden we have the PE ratio for this company as well now the other thing that you need to know is what are the parameters available that you can get so obviously PE ratio is one of them you do have to spell it well like the capitalization and the spacing do not matter but the spelling must be the same just as you can see right here and now let me explain to you what this lq lq minus one and all this stuff means so basically lq is the latest quarter available of data lq minus one is the previous quarter available of data and then you can see how this applies to the other quarters as well so all together we're taking the last quarter the one before the one before that so on and so forth all the way until lq minus eight so all together we have nine quarters of data in this example uh, you can do up to lq minus nine which means you can get up to 10 quarters and you can get even more data in a different way using a function i'm not going to show you how that works in this video but we have many tutorials on our channel on how to use y sheets and how to use the y sheets functions to be able to get this i want to just focus on how it is that you can get the historical PE ratio. Now, if you're wondering what other parameters besides the PE ratio are available, you can check out this page, ysheets.io slash available data, and then you can see right here on screener data or the function data, what are the parameters that you can get? So in this case, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff from the income statement, pretty much anything that you can imagine. Obviously the balance sheet, the cash flow, the key metrics, which is what we're using to get the PE ratio. You can 
can see it right here. And then there's a whole bunch of other ones from growth metrics to company profile metrics to even live data, right? So you can go ahead and you can see the price is available and we could indeed go ahead and change this to price, click on get data or press this button right here and you can see how the data will update. So really there's no limits to the data that you can get and in fact this is the great benefit and the beauty about this method is that you can get pretty much any metric that you want so that you can compare them all on a historical basis and ensure that you're getting a good deal and that you're making a good investment you know while also looking into the historical data and the historic method and multiple that you're paying for that particular stock one more thing is that you can indeed make any calculations that you want based on the data so if i want to calculate for example the percentage change from the latest quarter to the quarter from basically nine quarters ago what you need to do is just apply the formula as you would otherwise so you can just go ahead and do take the latest value minus the previous value and then divide all of this by the previous value and this will give you the percentage change which in this case is quite significant and it's good to know and then of course you can just simply drag this formula down so that way you get this operation for all of these different companies that we have right here of course you can also copy paste this and change the name right here to have a label that makes sense for this calculation and one more thing that i want to share with you is that you can indeed also apply filters to this data so if I click right here sort and filter uh, you can click on filter and you can say you know what let's say I want to organize this in ascending or descending order so you can see how this changes the order based on the PE ratio and even after you apply any one of these filters that you want you can always click on refresh live data right here or you can go ahead and click here as well if you already have this set up so in this case I'm just gonna click here and and you're going to see how the data will update in this case the data is the same because we're not looking at any real-time data but if the quarter was to change and you come back to the spreadsheet sometime after you will see how the data would change for you and this is a great way to be able to assess how you know companies that you're interested in investing or companies that you have already invested in are doing now you know how to get the historic PE ratio of a particular company and how to use this information so that you can make more informed investment decisions if you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification zone so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's going to allow you to take your investing game to the next level